Welcome back guys to another video of Kohong Tutorials with Everything Design. In today's video we will explore real-time material editor tool. To access the tool click on any object and click material editor, that's where you normally edit the materials of objects, change their color and texture and so on. At the top here you will see the real-time material, click on it and it will take you to a new page. As you can see that the page has all the materials you could think of, I like this tool because it allows you to create your own materials and edit them however you like. The real-time material editor tool in Kohom provides a user-friendly interface that allows you to adjust various parameters of the material, such as the color, texture, glossiness, and transparency. As you make adjustments, you can see the changes in real-time on the 3D model, which helps to quickly iterate and refine the appearance of the material. The tool also includes a library of pre-built materials that you can choose from, such as wood, metal, and fabric, as well as the ability to import custom materials from external sources. Overall, the real-time material editor tool in Koham is a powerful and intuitive tool that enables users to create realistic and visually appealing interiors with ease. On the right panel here, it's where you will find material parameters. Dimensions are already set. Diffuse allows you to change the color, hue, saturation, and brightness. Reflection is for how reflective you want the material to be, the higher the value the more reflection the material casts. Reflection glossiness is for defining the reflection and make it clearer or blurrier on the surface of the object. The greater the value, the clearer the reflection. The bump scale represents the depth of the bump if you have any texture on the object, the greater the value, the stronger the bump. Lastly Fresnel, the reflection strength of the material will depend on the surface's angle of view, with a stronger side angle than the front. If the feature is disabled, the material has the same reflection at all angles. Once you are happy with your material you can save it to use in future projects. I will be trying a different material so you can see the effects clearly. I used marble, and in this window here you can see how it turns out before you save your material so you get the best results. You can also change how you want to work with the material depending on its usage. So again once you are happy with the material you made, just click on save, choose a name for it and a category.
And to use it simply go back to your profile and check uploads and it should be there. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive more tutorials every time we upload. Feel free to leave any questions or comments and we will do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching.